interrupt the, the trouble. Um, that uh, we have a uh, extra class in Friday to do about turf. So, uh, I can play with words, don't take it literally, but uh, I have one of the best turtles there is. Yeah? Uh, and just to advertise the turtle that will come and uh, uh, she keeps looking, like uh, who's good in guard you see in a uh, world. Let's say there's at least 100 good guys in guard, yeah? you probably see that. We see that good guys in guard that play it, we can mimic what their fundamentals are, not to mimic any style. But who's good in turtle? Only God them Eduardo Teles. Why is that? How come that information got lost? Who's to blame? And so now, now, now they're telling the white belts and blue belts, don't go to turtle, they take your back, they punch you in the face. No, they're not. They know that they not take your back. It's a, still a sport. It's like a jab cross. You still hit in the face, but there's a system. And if you watch the UFC lately, Jacare against Whitaker, he played active turtle. Against one of the best in the world, yeah? Uh, watch Castle and White Man, active turtle. So, turtle is, it's an MMA, it's very fundamental. And uh, if you don't play turtle, your open guard can never be as good as you can. Because after a couple guards fails, what you have? Only side control. But turtle is the world between worlds. So, you can go to turtle, you can spin, stand up, reset. So, it's easier, it's easier to bear the weight with bigger guys. In side control bottom. So turtle is a must to develop guard. Uh, and you have a lot of black, black, black people. And uh, I don't know why people are telling that oh, it's bad to take your back and they guillotine you and no they don't. And you don't even believe how easy it is. I will show you after Friday. Mm -hmm. So it, what the uh, new 12 I guess in lunch, so don't eat. We're not gonna do like uh, any knee and belly stuff, but I mean if you Stomach is full, so you don't need it before they so. Anyway, but it was a good, I guess, big compliment, so you were interested, and I have third class, so I can do, I will do my best. So, uh, today we're going to do a, 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 a quarter mount. It's also kind of a reverse half guard. Uh, usually, like white belts, blue belts, you get to, you get to custom to the uh, reverse, reverse half guard a little late in your game, and it's kind of sad. Uh, even purple will sometimes go like reverse half guard, you don't want to do that. So reverse half guard is a must to have in your pass. Uh, like switching sides, and it's a sport, so we have to switch sides a lot. Uh, and then uh, if you don't have it, you're missing out. So, But if you start with quarter mount, it's the same exact half that we did yesterday. And you, if you were in yesterday's class, you can connect them. So it's uh, one thing. But this posture is very universal. I use it inside the guard. Uh, that's another. I've not played any free classes, but, but I use it in a close guard. I don't play like this. I don't do this. I don't think there's, uh, there's evidence to, to support that. We should do that. And not grabbing the V. I hate grabbing the V because it's a tool and it depends on a specific cloth. Imagine having no lapels. What would you do? Yeah. So it's, it's a lapel bend and style. And in no V, what you have? Nothing. It's just slipper. So I'm looking for natural handles. So usually, the way I play close guard is another topic. Here we have different stages of stacking. One, two, three, four. We have the what wind did also. You go in. So and you see that more in MMA also. And this is very annoying. This is punching in the face, and this is leg locks, and this is when they open the leg, they they lose right away because I have that leg open the legs. And this is very. I usually teach my guys to open the legs. Right? If I get out. Open the legs. This is MMA also can't punch anyone. So I'm usually I'm very big on jiu-jitsu being usually no EP MMA and self-defense in a day one. I don't think we have to do this in a day one because nobody likes to do that because it's not fighting. And you start to go, teach that to beginners, they go like, I came here for fighting, and you do this. Yeah. So I want to you know defend myself and and and, and so. It's different, so I, I can really teach close guard bottom. I call it close guard, not close guard, because I think the closeness is a more de defining, uh, defining attribute for like close guard. Because with the legs, I play oh, you know, across the legs, hooks behind, hooks in, hooks on the hip. So close, closed is not defined. You know, I have four legs position. If I only use one, it's kind of bad. But closeness, 
but I'm close to him, everything else works. Like overhooks, underhooks, arm drags, everything is close. So that's why I call it close guard top and bottom, not close. I think it's mis misleading and, and beginners get like wrong stuff that they have to keep it closed. No, you're not. It's always open. And uh, so, uh, what else? So I use it everywhere, the turtle bottom I do it when somebody's behind me. I defend that and just like you know, stand ups and keep heists and if somebody has like resting base, it like, fits right over there. It's not in from, it's, it's information, not in Jiu Jitsu, people in Jiu don't do it because it's Jiu Jitsu and they're wrestling, but I, I think it's all one, I have to teach it. Um, and then uh, it's more fun, it's uh, better for MMA. And uh, for MMA guys even want to do more Jiu Jitsu after all. If Jiu Jitsu is this, usually it's like Jiu Jitsu is your gi and very specific and then uh, I don't want to do it, I want to fight. So I think it's too separate. I don't, I don't mind if you go like a very gi specific. I, I think it's wonderful. I'm not saying gi is bad. But I, I like if you have a choice. If there's no choice, then you're stuck. But if you have a choice to do this and go gi specific, now it's your choice. And I don't mind that. But I want to give you a choice. So otherwise, it's a must. And then the people don't go MLA and uh, everything else. So fast. So anyway, mom, uh, the usual answer. So the uh, same position. It's very universal. It's a. Uh, I think this is referee position. But I don't know how I call it the rest. So this is peak outs also when somebody does single legs. You know, peak outs. Everything. It's very universal. They're front of you. They're side of you. They're behind you. And you can switch. So we talk about it tomorrow. So my, like I said, my Jiu Jitsu is very posture. Right? I don't like messy Jiu Jitsu. I would stop doing Jiu Jitsu in a day, like a, right now. If it looked the messy as we see it. But I see a structure in it. I see a logical structure everywhere. So and that's why I love it. I'm after that perfection. And it's not done yet, but in many, many, many cases I, I found the structure. And I'm after that. I'm really believing there's unified theory of Jiu Jitsu that uh, you see in uh, this world. There's quantum mechanics and there's a gravity. They shouldn't exist in this universe. You know that. Yeah. So it's, they're like they're conflicting each other. Gravity works with big objects and uh, quantum work, works with very small objects. But they don't. They just they just contradict each other. So there has to be a unified theory that they can both exist. So in Jiu Jitsu also, I find it's like everything comes to like certain position, like maybe like this. I can explain guard in a weekend having this structure. And I can talk about it later after that. It's green chicken, we call it that. It's like in American language, it's a rotisserie chicken, but in Estonia, it's like a, a green chicken. So it's not like a foot, but it's just it's green chicken. It's, it's named like this. And it's open guard is easy. One weekend, it's done for life. And uh, I'll explain how it is. You don't need half the stuff people said. It. It's a good structure and one sweep, and do it forever. If you can sweep me 50% of time with a tripod sweep, you know, everybody knows, you're a black belt. 50% of the time I pass your guard, 50% of the time you defend and you sweep me, you're a black belt. It's not about complexity that I know more stuff like 20 sweeps and you know one and that's why I'm black belt. No, I can think about Bolivia Klitschko, yeah? He just jabs you to death. And, you know, he's a black belt in boxing or whatever it is. It's not about complexity. You don't have to do what Marcelo does, or Lanky, or whatever Romulo Barra does, or Delta Lower. You have to do what you do. So, good defense, good structure, and open guard, and just one thing. Or probably jab and cross, that works better forever. Cross jab, 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 cross, never happened. Never, nobody has figured it out in boxing also. It still works. Jab cross works under, after thousands of years, it still works. Because the rhythm, everything else. So, it's about, it's so simple, but it's about the structure. That's about it. But don't, most people don't teach structure. They teach possibilities. And you never will see me do like a five-step five technique. I don't think it's possible for me to teach that. Because if somebody takes something takes five steps to do, it's already too specific route. Yeah? It's like, if I do one step, you can do like four steps against me. And then it's, uh, if I teach you certain specifics, it's maybe I do it. And it's my doing 10 years of study. That's my specific route. Why would I teach you? You have to find out how your body works and how your mind works. We're different. So how can I allow this that you're not in my bubble? If you're in my bubble, you never reach your goals. I have to be the biggest bubble there is and offer you and then you figure out what kind of artist you want to be. Okay? So it's very dangerous to teach, teach techniques. Uh, so, mouth. 
very good position. I use it a lot, and again, I, I've seen it also. I, I study roles a lot when I sit. So, look, looks similar like we did. But the important ones are the clicks, shujis, yeah? If you just like this, it kind of doesn't make any sense. So, but the similar position, so what I do, I, I had, we in this SPG, we, we work with the three, three P's. Posture, pressure, possibility. So first is a posture, then is a pressure within posture, and then possibilities that comes from that pressure. We always teach that. And the possibilities I'm not gonna teach you, I can care less. Uh, just don't matter. I'm posture, pressure, and then figure it out. Go. That's your life. So, clicks. Uh, hold on, Mac. So, click. The same we did yesterday. I want to push this knee in. I want to pull my toes back. And this leg is not here. You know the reason because they go under. Yeah? If it's a paint, you want to do it, why not? But there's a way, but as a fundamental first position, you hide your leg. And why? You want to make that leg like through because we can't elbow knee escape. So it has to be, because it's other way, it's 50 50 go escape. Then it's usually easy, yeah? But I want to put all my weight here, escape. And it's way harder. And now I have time to maybe back step and pass, and so it gives me time. It's always have a nice high time. So, okay, you make it as enormously heavy, and you put it here. So it supports their hip also. And the same as we did yesterday. So this leg pushes this knee heavy. There's clicks, the pressure, because they want to move that hip to that side, understand? Because they want to pull guard facing. So I want to bend their body so they can't. My arm is here like yesterday. And here. And I'm kind of low. I can be high also. And then it's about possibilities later. If it's here, if it's on a plot, if it's underhook, if it's here, if you blah, 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 blah. There's YouTube. Yeah? Go figure it out. So, but they shouldn't go under the legs, and they should feel trapped. And now I can pick my poison like reverse off guard stuff, and we talk about the balancing act. This is you fall, cliche. This is you not falling, and this is you not falling. I will talk about that. And later we talk about breaker on shoulders. This is a cliche, you will fall, you will always lose. We have breaker on shoulders, and then you're okay. So we add those things later. But right now, just be heavy. At clicks, they will help you, they will not ruin your technique. Think about the leg, it's behind, and you're here. So everything has to be heavy. So that's your, take your best side, if you're black belt, take your worst side, or brown belt, it's more fun. But if you're white belt, definitely start with your best side. Okay? But if you don't get it, it's my fault. It's not that you're stupid, it's a, there's a methodology. And we have to respect that, and we have to adjust the classes according to you guys, not like what I like. So, everybody tries, and then you have more questions. Now I show it again, and I've got better, not like fun. So, the twist has to be there. Yeah? It's not this. It's still good, but there's no clicks he feels there. This is actually more. Yeah, and now I push, and leg, and this, it's very, very heavy. So this leg is free. If they are under hooks, have Right away, I will attack them, and it's, this is the three legs. So, arm is also here. So, I'm making it's not this, they can push me away, I guess. Go back. But it's more country. So, uh, and click. And a wonderful part is that you can choose your click. Because, uh, like I will show you yesterday, also, I did a back here, you know, roll. Those back takes are not like a. Uh, what they call it? Fancy techniques. It's like this, this back take from here is very fundamental if you have the clicks. So, example, what you can have, look at my right leg toes. I can have also click here. So this is very ideal jiu-jitsu. This is a click. And now, whatever happens, it's after that if you're a black belt or purple as black, you can do it. It's like... And the back take works because of that click. I can guide him. Look right. Only because of that click. And now I use the arms and everything else, but the click does the work. Right? If I just do this, then they land somewhere weird, in a way, and they have better way out. So the click is very important. Right? Let's do it for a moment. So you have two clicks here. You can click the bottom leg, just grab this. You can click the bottom leg, that's also very important. Even if I would do, even if I would do this pass, you know those passes. Yeah? You have under the leg pass, and you have also this pass. That's actually our 
we start half guard to passing from here in Estonia. So this is the best options are always available here. Leg locks, passing, grabbing the heads, going this way, that way. We start from here. So, and then we go on from here. So, but it's never this. Even from here, see, similar position that we talked about. Uh, wrestling stuff. I do even here. And now we start to learn Jiu Jitsu from here. It's a click, it's a click, it's a click. And now everything is possible. And this arm is not in danger. If they go after that, they lose. Yeah? Because they can't Kimura anything. Even here they can't Kimura. Go. Because I control their wrist. Yeah? And if they do, it's wonderful time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so it's always anywhere, even here, if I do, it's click. It's not this, they feel that their hip is more stuck. And I can stretch more and then I go a little fight. Usually nowadays I just go and I have leg locks. Uh, I just don't want to pass. Leg locks are more fun. <laughs> they just, you know, they said 10 years don't do it and it's like, you know, it's just they're fun. It's, uh, even for somebody that's a good guard, it's just annoying to pass. It's just leg locks, you want to win, not pass the guard. And uh, this helps passing the guard also. And also I'm not against passing guard, don't get me wrong. If the IBJF or Shiritsu has done, what it has done is that it created very good guard passes because of the rules. Because we have to figure out how to pass the guards. So it's like Kirk Roman. That's why we have good tie ups because Kirk Roman. And so it's not bad, but it's just I like Jiu Jitsu. I don't like it. So I just Jiu Jitsu. But those isolation styles are good. Uh, so, yes, mount here. And if you can, if they're legs, you can kick that top. It's very annoying to pull guard right now because this hook actually pushes that. See that one? Push it that leg down, and it's even harder to now pull guard. Usually, usually they want to go to turtle, and that's wonderful because I can hook, and now I use the legs. So that's just the option. I, I don't put hooks in. This is better. So this I use clicks, and they're stuck. My arms are free. If I do just this, they right away move their body, and then they're out. So I use clicks to control people. And those are very, very important. Most people don't talk about those things, but they matter. Everything here, it actually matters the most. The smallest part, but it just guides you to the right place, by the way. If you can't click, that means move your ass a little bit, and then click, and everything is good. Even better than before. So, uh, and again, this class is, teaching-wise, is bad. But information-wise, you can go to a gym and figure it out. That's what it is. Yeah? So, I'm not using the best methodology. So, click, they will help you bottom and also you can figure out the options if you're like you know the position think about okay I will pass here I will go if they reach under my leg under my leg I will Kimura them right now if I have this on a plata if I have this I can pass left the headlock here to the knee slide if I have here there's the side chokes and taking the back if I have here also good for passing and stuff so figure out what you want to do I don't really care so whatever stage you are in your game, do, do that. So there's another important one right now. Just add the base. And also, it's a good when they escape, go try to escape. If I fail, it's easy to bail. And then it's already grabbing the arm, grabbing here, having the chest forward, go escape. You already grab the head, so it's really, really hard to go. This is all resting. So you're covering the far shoulder on top of that also. Always chest and toes. So, I usually do a lot of wrestling and Jiu-Jitsu guys are not good at talking. Usually the wrestlers are the Olympic guys that I'm, I'm following them what they do. I already talked about that also. I, I, I changed and I mentioned that them here also. Later. So, uh, there's a theory that if you watch Jiu-Jitsu guys on top, if you watch wrestlers and Judokas, do they do similar things? No. Judokas and wrestlers, they do different things than we do. And who's right now? And who's wrong? Maybe there's hybrid. But I'd rather go with Olympic athletes that hold, have to hold down other Olympic athletes than Jiu Jitsu. And I will talk about how that idea has changed my talk for the better. And uh, so I always watch wrestling what they do because in Olympic level freak athletes, they have to know what they're doing. So uh, you don't see people on their knees so much when they want to fight. So uh, that's how I, I hope I have fun, maybe tomorrow. So try it, mount it, clicks if you want. It's boring, two possibilities. I don't care less. Go. The sport. Uh, and you have to expect that. In Jiu Jitsu, we don't expect it to go wrong. Think about boxing. Think about 
how many times you miss and you, how many times you hit. Mostly you miss, yeah? And you, you do boxing and that's fine. In Jiu Jitsu, when you lose technique, you feel more bad. But it's a goddamn sport. You should miss a lot. And so don't feel bad if you just can't pass the guard or they pull guard or they go. It's a sport, you do it again. But you're so connected to, I want to just be here and if I lose the guard or pass, then it's bad. No, it's a sport and you people do mistakes. And there's somebody trying to ruin, you ruin your perfect execution. It's not like throwing a spear, nobody's messing with you, yeah? It's different mentally. But here, they, you want to do perfect, but this goddamn partner will try to ruin it. So we still have to do perfect. So it's okay to lose techniques and then do it again. But if it's only guard passing Jiu Jitsu, then it's more frustrating. But if it's just winning Jiu Jitsu, I don't have to pass the guard. I don't mind if you get the guard back, I will attack your legs again. And if you get a guard pass, yes, thank you. And if you don't, I don't mind. But if it's only about guard pass, then you feel enormously bad if they escape in a side control and then you have to pass that guard again. And it takes so much time. And there's so many evidence, you see in IBJF even, look, like say Gobrinia, yeah? Com compared to me, I would say he knows everything. But he still can't pass the guard. There was a match with uh, some guy in IBJF right now in the world, I think. There was like one advantage and he won, but he couldn't pass some, some guy's guard. Even those guys that know everything can pass. It, it wasn't even close. He's not passing the guard. So what it gives us, like this is like frustration, devastation. What, what gives me like a hope that I can pass some of this guard and even Cobrina can't? So it's not important, okay? And so that is stress it off. It's more fun. So otherwise, it's like frustration to be on top. So, uh, top here. And if, if it happens, definitely, this is reverse half guard. You did yesterday also, uh, some. But uh, the very, 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 very important is the knees out. If you do reverse half guard like this, you're done. Yeah, they hook your leg, go under the leg, no, under the leg. Oh, no, this knee bar, go under, under hook, hook. yes, lift, 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 yes, go back, very good. So, if you do it, if you do it from here, you go, what, look my leg, yeah? This is like a nightmare, yeah? And then you're gone, yeah? So, you reverse half guard, only knee is always out, like a leg lock moves, protect your knee line. So if you do it from here, there's three half guards, three reverse half guards. One is this, you have like a passing, you stay here, have knee bars and cut push, blah, 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 yeah? You have second, Half guard, similar, you hook, don't close, they will grab your legs, open, kill the hook, this is hook for him, this is for me, I push, kill the slap. And third is this. Yeah, there's two ways of being, there are three ways of being in the half guard. And this is reverse. If you do those passes for a white belt, you feel like good, you grab your mid back, I hate that, and you think you're good. If they bridge your cup, you're gone. Yeah, you know that. So, first of all, arm on a mat, yeah, low bridge. On the hook. It's every time I win because I'm high. If you want to be here, then you kill that underhook with your body. You can grab, you can grab, doesn't matter. And you're like counterbalancing your body. This is you lose. This is you win, and then you're inside control. Also, good, good, good thing is you put your head on the mat. So, I always win. Yeah? So, this is the kind of a new thing I'm doing for a couple of months. Usually, I have a head on the mat. Even with the, those things, grab my leg. No, put it with your legs. With your legs. Yeah, just no, no, grab, just squeeze. Middle guard, yes. So I don't do this jiu jitsu. It's really hard to put those hooking. I do this jiu jitsu. And now it's fun. Now they have, they, they, there's no bridge also. They can't reach me to the left. Yeah? Here, they can still push me a little bit like you know. It happens. But because my angle is there, they feel it's in top. I know. So, and that's what wrestling actually does. Just to give you a little hints. Uh, so, if you do back steps, be careful of bridges. And if you have the problems, ask. And if you want to do some other possibilities like uh, underhooks and or platters and stuff, ask. Mainly it's about that position. And you can connect that position to yesterday's position. Let's say they will escape. So slowly, wait. they're here. They try to do elbow knee escape. Wait, yeah. And anytime, this is very bad. Yeah, not his head, but the head is up. So 
if somebody does elbow knee escape head up, what happens? Guillotines. So we have Stephen Hawking, yeah? We have this. So we use head on the mat. If you lift your head, I will guillotine you all, all, all over again. So what, how I teach Jiu-Jitsu is we have Stephen Hawking here. And if I do elbows, so it was, so it's not offensive, I, I think. It's like compliment because the guy is a genius. So it's this move. So I always use, I, that's my Jiu-Jitsu kind of, I use wrestling. So I don't do this Jiu-Jitsu. I do, this is okay, this is very bad. Don't do it, you get choked, Tarsus, Marsus, either things. Uh, no style choke, if somebody side control, you lift your head, no style choke. Why would you lift your head? Stephen Hawking. And even jump. Uh, side control, keep on a mat. Cross face. See that? No cross face. Why would you lift your head? Why would you do that? You get cross face. And then they feed the key behind your head and out other shit. If you had it on a mat, look, it doesn't happen so fast. There's more time. So, Stephen Hawking. And it's in the boxing. If you do boxing, what you do? Yeah, you hide your chin. You don't box like this. I did wing shoots and we, we fought like this. Kind of dangerous. Yeah? You'll find out pretty soon. So, here? <laughs> <laughs> so, this so is always a punch. You, and if you're Conor McGregor, you, punch, you box like this. But after you become one of a drug, yeah? It takes a while. So there's like a little level. So again, if you want to have possibilities, but the main thing is the position. God damn it. There's so much stuff to tell you. So, but if slowly they start to push the knee between, go. Yeah, go, go. Just this is very bad. And now underhook and everything goes to crap, yeah? Because my knees are down and half guard works. But what jujitsu is go. Yesterday, yeah? I keep my knee up. Even if I don't put my arm on a mat, go, escape. <coughs> Why would I give him my knee? There's no reason. And now I won't fight again. So but this is this is right away ridiculous. Lockdowns, everything happens, underhooks, and I'm in trouble. Even if you don't do anything, let's go. Look, escape. I'm totally cool. If I can do yesterday's position, go slowly. Look, my arm goes. So I can play many distances. Yeah. So if you can't always access that, it's too much coordination, don't do it. Do a simple version. But don't stay in both knees on a mat. Uh, it's like when you pass also, you don't pass like this. Never this, always this, and then common place. And that's the thing. And I use the common place like I showed also in close guard. I don't do this, common place. And now we're fine. It's more MMA. The more jitsu, more beef. So, add uh, this uh, possibilities if you want. Have that position. Think about reverse half guard. Think about not bridging. Think about possibilities. Think about your game. And if you have room in your brain, think about they want to escape and you leave your knee out. So you can continue adding techniques to it. Not like you do three mistakes in a row and then you're fucked. Yeah? So, and then you think, oh, jitsu is so hard. No, it's not. Just doing it wrong. So, continue. Let's go. Yes. Uh, where's your, your part? I think I should get up I was looking for like a lighter, lighter reference. So, wrap around the shoulders are very important. Uh, so, yesterday they had a problem. Like, you did this. Yep. And wait, wait, wait. Yes. So, uh, if you're this, it feels okay when you have resistance, you're done. Yeah? You have a very reactive game. But it's totally fine if you do this. I'm not, wait, wait. I'm not against that if you play like this. I have a feeling you're doing those things and I know what it does. I don't really care. I can react. But as a white belt, I can't teach you this. Because I don't want to have a reactive game. I want to have structured game. And then you have a choice. You can be sloppy and just, you know, uh, build a trap so they will bridge you and they, you get something. Or you just, uh, you know, you play structured. But if I have record on my shoulders, go. It's really, really hard to bridge. If I right away have this, I do it. And if I do this, go, it's a little bit harder. And then, but if you want to bait somebody, go. You want to bait, and either way, you either teach. So 
Sometimes people don't give you stuff, you have to make them open. Like boxing works, jab, jab, cross, and head. Yeah. So you just have to play. It's not like structure. We start with structure, but then make it your own. You have your own feeling, you have your own preferences, and so you can bend the rules. I'm not saying you have to box like this all the time. The more you know boxing, the more you go you know, out there to figure out how you want to box. But I want to give you a choice. And you can't teach beginners boxing. Imagine that first day beginner come in, we do boxing, let's go. Just move your arms in somehow here. You go like, what? You know, you start with this, yeah? With good frame, good MMA leg work, and you start, and the more you know boxing, the more you, you, know, you figure out how to move. You can't teach that in the beginning. So we start with structure. If you want to keep the structure, you can. If you want to loosen up, you can. I don't mind. I'm all about the choice. Without choice, you have to do that kind of feeling thing. It takes a ridiculous amount of time. Only match reps and figure it out. And if you're an ordinary guy, trains twice a week, you're done. Yeah? And you quit jujitsu after a while because it's so freaking hard. And we know it's epidemic. You know, it's a, there's a funny meme. meme that I, Maybe Rick Dixon has said it, maybe not, but every time Kuba quit a Shizu, kicks him crazy, gives a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> so, we you know it's epidemic. Yeah, but it's all, it's complicated. It's so much, you know, this and that, and it's a structure, it's more clear. And when you fall, you right away know what was wrong. Oh, put a car on my shoulders. You fix it, come back with a vengeance, you're smiling in the face, you figure it out. Because you know the mistake. But if you lose without knowing why you lose, it's frustration. And I feel it too. That's why I'm figuring stuff out. Because it, it annoys the shit out of me. Because I, I want to know why I lose. And then I can enjoy that. I don't mind losing. I want to know why I'm losing so I can get better. And that's why I'm mostly self-taught. I have good coaches that gave me thought process, but mostly I'm an Estonian, uh, cold, next to Russia, yeah? So it's uh, mostly self-taught. But the thinking process is how to solve problems. And that's really, really important. So, grab your own shoulders. Uh, also in side control, just if you play, just all over. This is bad, this is good. If you hold me side control like this, I will escape probably a very high, uh, high, high percent. And you frame your neck and blah, blah, blah. And also if you stiff arm, I fall. See my, if you do wrestling, you never do like this, yeah? Because if they stiff arm your arm, go stiff arm. It's like right away this. So, you have Greco, Roman, you turn your hip because you want to cancel the bridge. He's on a mic, you're gonna fly there right away. So here, and you have very your own shoulders. And your head is wonderful itself. So if you roll with me, of course, you can. I bob your neck a lot. I usually do this. And this annoys the shit out of you. Yeah? It's not like a neck crack, but just, you can't bridge, you can't, it's really hard to pull guard. And even if you pull guard, you pull guard slowly. I grab your head, go. It's really, really hard to pull guard. They have to treat their head. So, if they free the head, the hips come in right away. So, that's what rest are doing. You grab the head, the in, and now you're done. Then you can't bring the knees in. So, anyway, I mess with the head a lot. I like those kind of cross -tenses. Yeah, this is not bending the neck. This bends the neck more. And this is more fun. This is like, you, know, you can punch them in the face if you want. They have a neck. Yeah, so, you grab a Roman, and you can frame the neck. So, that's the bad thing. But, if you do this, you try to stiff one more. And it resembles more judo wrestling. Because this is a bridge. Slowly go, bridge. Go back. Bridge. You feel that, yeah? It's way different. So this is escape. This is not escape. This is not escape. No. This is wrestling, yeah? If you get this, this is MMA 101. This is white belt street. So I use the head a lot when I'm at. So if you have a chance to ask the questions about where I use it, I, I would love to keep my head on that. They, they frame the neck a lot. And then you're done. You can fake it, you can have like a quick submission, but I don't want to do that. So, if you do those back steps, that's reverse love, but actually, it's easy to introduce you. So, here, have a post, it's okay. Counter balance, under, over, whatever. Or, bridge. And then usually mount that. Right, you're going to get hands up, and it is. So if somebody asks me, do I go to mount? This is a mount camera. I like this mount. I don't do this mount, even if my like, legs are like this. You 
don't use your legs. They're dead. Yeah, there's only gravity. That you, you can't. You have to use pressure. So my mount is using. <coughs> I have a mat. This is mount. I'm developing that kind of joint escape. So here, yeah, so even that only escape. But it's so easy to connect connecting stuff. So elbows are. There's, uh, hydraulics are gone and it's way pressure. And I, I think there's enough evidence that it's like you can switch. Like this kind of mount is too static and not using legs enough for pressure. I'm trying to figure out different mount that's more MMA applicable and it's like connects more with that every every other position more more unified theory again. So already saw saw some glute liver guys. Where's the tall guy? Yeah. No, other guy. <laughs> more like no, okay. There's one guy also I saw that he played with like hips. It's awesome information. So, any questions? A lot of stuff. A little bit different than maybe you're used to it. But I'm always guided by it. And I will even say it works better in a way. You put your head on a mat and on the base and then clicks and stuff. And definitely if you work and up, start finding those clicks. They're very, very important. Let's say half guard. Just run your stuff so you can, you know, turn it that way. Don't do this. Yeah? You connect or you have click in the bottom. Yeah? And it, actually, mid pack is also one click. They can't crush the leg. Here, you crush the leg. You don't have to do it this, but there's a mid pack click to the pressure. There's a click. Really strong. It's like Michael Lange in Lasso. Lasso does this, but Michael Lange does this. You know that there's a lot of Buddha videos there. It clicks mid pack. There's a nice click. So always think about what they do. The clicks, the clicks, the clicks, they're everywhere. It's really, really important. So, uh, add pressure, add stuff. If you want, you can drill uh, slowly, progressively, build them up. And uh, if they escape, go side control, go mount, go submit, try to let the back, let in, whatever you want to do, I don't really mind. But the key is the bottom guy you have to lose. Don't be an asshole that you want to win one time. It's, no, make them better. Yeah? If you make them better, they return the favor. If you ruin and uh, uh, they don't trust you anymore, the relationship is gone. They know you're, you're that guy. You know? that ruins that one time you want to win. And we had a guy in Australia that we taught leg locks. And we only did like action release, yeah, to beginners. And we said like, there's 2% of people that, you know, try to go with the heart. And in the sparring, what happened? There was one guy, he went too hard. And it was like, dude, we just talk. He was like, I'm that 2%. <laughs> 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 was like, that, that, I can't be that stupid. <laughs> so don't be that guy. You don't want that reputation that you're that guy. You're the idiot that nobody wants to roll with. You want to be that guy that everybody wants to train with. That if somebody, you want to pair up, you have a line behind you. You know, that good partner. So you want to be that guy. So if you have a reputation being that guy that ruins everything, and you know, you finally, you know, community will push you up. So, but you can help everybody. Only, the only way to get better is to help everybody. And that they will make it better. So just, it's an egoistic trip become a good in Jiu Jitsu, but only to do it with everybody else. So that's the dichotomy of Jiu Jitsu, like I'm getting better. You have to change your principles. You have to become a better person. So that's kind of fun. Anyway, train that, drill if you want, I give you like five minutes, switch on your own, ask questions if you don't, if you want, but just try to figure out themselves also. But maybe click is missing, maybe something is missing. Okay? Continue. Drill. There's a question about uh, clicks. Uh, just also the passing, uh, the way I do, like I said, put your back on the mat, put your back on the mat, guard, let, let go. You know, those things are familiar. This is actually the bigger system. It's like, we did this, there's a, this system, there's this, and there's this system, yeah? You float here, and you have the same thing, same position. This is all the same. The same wrestling stuff, if you play, I'm playing the same thing. Let's play it slowly. I'm playing the same stuff, let's play guard a little bit. Now, okay, now I already passed. So this is wonderful half guard situation. It's like leg locks or passing. So keep the leg here, just play guard. So now I'm gonna switch my game. And just all the time, like the, the same position always helps. So, but talk about clicks a little bit. Let's say, uh, knees on a mat, kind of bad, uh, on the hook. Stop, yeah? So this is very bad. Sorry I'm using that language, I know it's kind of dramatic and people get pissed off, but it's kind of bad. Yeah. So, because first of all, the, this is round and I just guillotine you. Yeah, it's 
I know the name is the, uh, in the middle, but it's, it's a wizard, and everything is kind of bad here. So, head back straight. Yes. Head here. Now it's MMA Jiu-Jitsu against the clinch also, you see those things, yeah? Now I can't. If he does this, this is, you know, if you're wrestling, you shove the head, you sprawl. This is like, I will shove the head and I will get up. Wizard. Head up. And this is, arm is very bad right now. Because if I lift my leg to make the underhook heavy, I can slide down the bicep and now it's done. There's no underhook anymore. And now it's again neck and, you know, here and here and everything. So, he has to click and the click is hip bone. So that's the click, that's what wrestling is. That's the click in the elbow and click in the hip. And if he grabs that, pull slowly, yes, I can't turn. And now the underhook is strong. Go back. If it's just this, I'm on a bicep, see? The weak arm is very weak. And if he's looking for a click, because just to grab his mid-back, you grab the belt or the gi, kind of bad habit. Go find a click. What the click did, arm is now very strong. It's very hard to put because the shoulder is under me now. And the structure is now holding him up. Back straight, head up. And now I have nothing. Yeah, they can come up because it's really hard to turn because they're controlling me. And it's kind of hard to turn this way. And I would have to, if I would have knee up, I would win. <coughs> Better. Because they have to change the single leg now. And always do wrestling single legs, don't do jiu-jitsu single legs. Uh, wrestling single legs, I mean, put your knees on a mat. Put your knees on a mat. Toes up. <coughs> wrestling is, toe pull. Yeah, wrestling is this. Jiu-jitsu sometimes teaches those things. Don't do it. Here. So, anybody good will do the scrolls to you and you have to put the leg on the shelf and everything else. So look what wrestlers do, not jiu-jitsu. You just can't grab two legs, nobody does that. Only if you don't know wrestling, you will take people down. You will just always be leg up and you have to change. So, and again, one click, just to finish up. It's 11, oh, push your knee, uh, knee up. Put uh, this down, knee up. Uh, so, don't grab like this, grab this. If he feels that knee is pushed in, and now I can play leg grabs. If I just do this, they can push the knee to my mouth. Go, mouth. And now I'm stuck. Go back. If I do everything with clicks, now it's weak. Yeah? So the click matters. They, they make you ridiculously strong. So, I hope you, I created the interest. I, ho I hope you, I made you think differently. Challenge, don't agree with me. Challenge me. Come talk like if you don't agree. I have this, this, I will change my mind. I will defend my theories. And if I have to, I will change. And be prepared to change yours, yeah? Because there's no point doing conversation. You're very, very stubborn. I will only have conversation with you if you are also willing to change your mind. And I'm also willing to change my mind. Then we have a conversation. Otherwise, it's dogmas, yeah? So, uh, and uh, tomorrow is a class, noon, we do turtle. I will make you very awesome, <laughs> seriously. And it will be weird after my class because you see that broken turtle everywhere. And then you have to be quiet sometimes. Because you, you know it's wrong, but you can't tell it. <laughs> because it's unpolite. But that's a weird one. Uh, I've seen it many times. I teach turtle, and everybody else does turtle, and then it's like, People like look at me like, uh, no. so uh, we as a black belts, we have to be accountable. Teachers have to be accountable. We have to know that there's no muscle memory. You can't be preaching that in 2017 that there's muscle memory. There is no left and right brain that you're logical and you're not. It's not. There's no 10,000 hours. It's myth. Yeah. We can't go and preaching those things. Nobody has to do anything in 10,000 hours. So. Uh, we have to be up to date of coaching methods, of information, everything else. We have to be accountable. So uh, if I'm wrong, come tell me and I will change my mind and stop doing stuff. But uh, we can't do like dogmatic stuff and that's what it is. We have to be informed a lot. Because 10,000 hours is debunked, nobody should use that. It's a myth. Yeah? So and everything else. So be really, uh, and don't mind telling me if I'm wrong. Not maybe in public, come to me and read, you know, this is research comes. I will thank you. Okay? So, see you tomorrow. Thank you.